on behalf of my wife Anne-Marie and my family and on behalf of my colleagues I wish you a blessed and happy Easter. During this sacred season we pause to reflect on the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who made himself the ultimate sacrifice so that you and I might have abundant and eternal life. The Easter story is not only foundational to our faith as a Christian nation, but offers powerful life lessons that can guide and enrich us as we strive to be better individuals, better stewards, and better citizens. As our country steadily recovers from the ravages of natural disaster and a global pandemic, Christ's demonstration of compassion, sacrifice, and the power of new beginnings could not be a more timely guidepost for our collective task of building a better Bahamas. The past few years have been historically difficult for our people. Christ's lesson of compassion reminds us that beneath the traditionally warm smiles and hugs of many Bahamians, unspoken hurts, needs, and fears can impact how we think and what we do. No home, community, or society can thrive where compassion is in short supply. May the Easter season prompt us to have the kind of compassion that prompted Christ to pardon his unwitting accusers and give a repentant thief the promise of eternal life. Christ's lesson of sacrifice calls upon us to give of ourselves, our time, and our resources no matter how limited they may be, to uplift someone stretched beyond his or her ability to cope. Sacrifice through civic involvement is an impactful way you and I can leave a lasting positive mark on our communities. Let Easter inspire us to give and get involved, recognizing that helping any Bahamian helps every Bahamian. Today, we celebrate Christ's resurrection a testament to the power of new beginnings. Every time I look into the hopeful eyes of a Bahamian girl or boy, throughout the length and breadth of our country, I see a wellspring of imagination and possibility. Within our young people is the power of new beginnings. Capturing the imagination and expanding their possibilities is an imperative no government can accomplish alone. Our youth, our, our abundance, and nurturing each and every one of them through our compassion and sacrifice unlocks their possibilities, making them a reality. As you celebrate the holiday at beaches, pools, and on our roadways, I remind you to do so safely. Keep a watchful eye at all times on children as they play in or near bodies of water and observe all rules of the road so as to prevent injury or loss of life. The 50th Carifta Games continue today at the Thomas A. Robertson National Stadium and will conclude tomorrow. I encourage all who are able to come go with us and support Team Bahamas. We celebrate the tremendous talent and perseverance of our young athletes who continue to make us proud on both the local and international stage. I once again wish you a happy Easter and may the Christ of our faith continue to and bless our Bahamalai.